This is the grade six math practice test for T and ready, currently on question number 25. What is the distance in units between the points 11, negative 7, and 2, negative 7 on a coordinate plane? Um, I'll apologize ahead of time for how bad this looks. I just wanted to have something up beforehand. My only thought about it is, oh, come on, I'm doing like all of the math practice tests. It's tiring, and I've been, it, it takes weeks to do, so sometimes my drawings are going to be sloppy. Just accept it. So if you have trouble putting the, why would I put them on the coordinate plane? I mean, obviously the y's are negative 7, and the x's are what I have to focus on, right? Uh, if you're thinking that, it's because some people don't see that automatically, and I just want to have something for everybody. If you have trouble plotting points, uh, often because you learn slope and your y being first gets in your head and like locks in your brain, I get it, x, y, x, y. So when you're doing coordinate points, just put the letters in alphabetical order. So this one's on the x-axis, I need to go out to 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And, uh oh my radio menu's out. Like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 and then down to negative 7, which I went ahead and produced that. So right there. And for this one, I only go out to 2 and down to negative 7. So if I'm coming off this y-axis here, these are actually on the same level. So I don't have to worry about any changes there. That's good to go. Instead, I'll just count how far it is from this to this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So my answer is 9. Now, you could have also just said, well, I mean, 11 to 2 is 9 in about 12 milliseconds. And maybe you did, and that's awesome. Maybe you didn't, so this gives you an opportunity to do that as well. I just like to leave things open for people to choose what they need to do. If you have to draw on your test, draw on your test. Don't feel bad about it. Be proud that you're trying to put in enough effort to do well on it. The only thing that people really fail at in terms of like preparing for this thing is they get so embarrassed that somebody will say something about their test that they won't do the things they need to do to get the correct answers to somehow prove that they're smart or something i don't know what it's weird but and i mean i get it totally it's embarrassing to, to have to draw the thing but if you have to draw it don't feel bad about it if somebody says anything to do just turn around and tell them mind their own business you're trying to do as well as you can on this and if you hear somebody else say that to a third person talk to the first person who said something and tell them to leave them alone there's no reason for it just saying if you need to draw it draw it if you don't count it's easy as can be